Hi, it's Monique, and today I'm gonna do a video with Max Studio Fix Press Powder. Before we do anything, don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel at the link below. So this is what the powder looks like in the container, and ooh, I almost dropped it. Mine is actually NW45. I kind of fluctuate between NW45 and NW47. So I'm doing this today, but I haven't worn press powder for quite some time just because I feel like it's not really full coverage. So we'll see what it ends up looking like. I'm hoping that it's looking okay and not like a total hot mess. So yeah, let's get to it. So I'm gonna start with putting some primer on my face. Just getting it in all of my pores. And now I'm gonna put on the powder foundation. Like I said, this is NW45. And it's surprising, it actually is covering it up pretty well. I haven't worn powder for a few years just because I find it's a little bit too sheer. I just go over my eyes and under my bag area there. Too many sleepless nights. Okay, let's see what that looks like. And I'm just gonna go over my chin in that little area there. It's so messy. Okay, so I'm gonna do under my eyes with a lighter tone just to hide the bags. Now I'm gonna use a contouring set just to define my cheekbones and like the kind of like the edge of my chin and underneath. Okay. Now I'm just gonna use some translucent powder and actually normally it looks really, really good with a kind of like a liquid foundation, but this one makes me look kind of ashy and gray now that I see, and I'm only putting a tiny amount on. Okay, so now we're actually gonna do the eyes. I'm using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I know it looks totally crazy right there. I think I put too much on, but I'll just try to blend it out. Just gonna use my fingers to spread it out a little bit. Okay, I'm using the Naked 3 palette now. And so I'm just gonna use some earth tones just to complete this look. I just want it to look kind of subtle. I don't want it to be super bold makeup. I want it to look like I'm not wearing a lot of makeup at all. I'm just using three tones, kind of a shimmery tone on my lid and then like some earthy kind of matte tones on the other parts of my eye. So I'm gonna put some mascara on just to make sure my eyelashes look black and I don't like wearing fake lashes so I'm not gonna wear any today. I just want it to look like I'm not wearing any makeup at all. Okay, so I'm gonna put this nude lipstick on. This is by L'Oreal. There, we're done! Okay, so as you can see, my makeup is done. And it's not as bad as I originally thought it was going to be. Um, I can see that you can see a bunch of my breakout and blemishes there. And I feel like it also makes me like really look old because it shows lines around my mouth and on my forehead and everything. It's really thin and I think that's the reason why I don't use pressed powder anymore. I just, I find it really messy too. And especially when you have darker colored skin, you get foundation everywhere, it gets on your hands, you touch things and it gets all over the place. But basically, I, I don't know, I don't think that this is a really good product for me to use. I used uh, pressed powder when I was having a really, really bad problem with acne because it was easier to use than the normal Studio Fix um, liquid foundation. 
and you know it because it wasn't as oily I didn't get uh, as many breakouts and stuff so it looks okay on the top of my fa face and on this side of my face and maybe around my nose and everything but you can definitely even with like uh, me putting some a lighter shade under my eyes you can definitely see my bags really really badly especially when I go like that but yeah you can totally see my breakout on this side of my face as well and I don't like that actually all in all I think maybe I would go out like this on a weekend if I had to um, or a day that I just want to go and be relaxed but I'm sure by the end of the day maybe after like four or five hours this is just gonna be melted right off of my face so I have to say I do not like using the studio fix powder from Mac I love all of their other products I mean maybe if you have really 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 good skin and you don't wear a lot of makeup ever then it's good for you but if you have a few blemishes or if you have rosacea or if you have some sort of problem with your skin and it's uneven in tone I wouldn't use this okay guys um, if you liked my video don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel bye